Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to ATS Sneakers. My name is Aiden. On today's video, we are taking a look at my top five pickups for all of 2020. But before we get into that, as we head through the last few weeks of the year, I just want to say a huge thank you to absolutely every single person who has supported me so far on this journey. It has been an incredible few months and I really can't thank you guys enough for constantly coming back and watching my videos, leaving me comments, dropping likes and just generally supporting me along this journey. It is massively appreciated and I really want you guys to know that. Also to any new viewers, welcome to the channel. We do release brand new sneaker content just like this each and every week. So do make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the intro. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas! Now quickly, just before we get into the video guys, I wanted to let you guys know that it was actually really difficult to narrow this list down to only five pairs. Now, this year has been so transformative for me in terms of my knowledge of the sneaker industry and, and just sneakers in general. I used to think like I knew a lot about shoes until I actually started this channel and realized that I knew absolutely nothing coming into it. And I really feel like my appreciation for a lot of these models have only grown actually having them for the very first time. It's so easy to look at something and say you like it, but when you actually have it in hand, you get a completely different perspective and you either have a higher level of appreciation or you don't like it for any given reason. So narrowing this list down to only five out of all my pickups from 2020 was incredibly difficult. But what I would say is that all of these shoes do hold a special sentimental value to me. So I hope you guys enjoy this list and let's go ahead and get into number five. And kicking us off at number five on the list, here we have the Jordan 3 in the red cement colorway, officially releasing for All-Star Weekend of 2020. Now, for anyone who's watching this video that can't remember or didn't already know, there's actually a slightly different variation of this colorway that released exclusively in Chicago to celebrate All-Star Weekend. Now, the one I have features Nike on the heel. However, the one exclusively released in Chicago features Nike Shy. Now, personally, it doesn't really matter to me which one is which. I actually just love this colorway. And when I saw the initial release information for this shoe, it was one that I knew I just had to have. Now, I've never had a Jordan 3 up until this model, and I can tell you that I'm a huge fan of the 3. Now I've had this one, you know, in hand and in my possession. This is probably the most worn shoe I've had in the entire list, and I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot more in the future. So let's go ahead and take a look at number 4 on the list. And next up on our list, we have the Air Jordan 1 High in the Pine Green 2.0 colorway. Now, I remember when this shoe officially released earlier on in the year, I did everything possible trying to get this shoe for retail. I was entering every single raffle and we were trying to get every single restock. Me, my partner, and even my sister were trying to get this when I was at work, when I was at home. And even though this shoe did restock quite a lot, I still seem to miss out each and every time. No, God, please, no, no! No! So eventually I got fed up and just bit the bullet. And this is actually the very first shoe that I've ever purchased from StockX. Generally, I do try and stay away from resale because we get so many releases each and every week. If I do miss a particular shoe like this one, generally, I just move on to the next one. But with this shoe, I just knew I had to have it. And for me, it actually holds such a sentimental value because this was the very first review I ever did on the channel. And this is actually where it all started. So this is definitely a shoe I want to have in the collection, you know, for as long as possible. Probably should be a little bit higher up on the list. And at number three on our list, here we have the Yeezy 350 V2 in the Zion colorway. Now, if you've been around the channel for quite a while, in my very first few top 10 upcoming sneaker videos, this was actually covered on, I believe, two or three different monthly videos because this has actually been pushed back so many times prior to its release. I was actually starting to get a little bit fed up because this is probably my favorite 350 colorway, not only for this year, but of all time. And honestly, the more it got pushed back, the more fed up I got, and the more I just was getting to the point where I was just gonna just order it from StockX, just because I knew I had to have this in my personal collection. Having now got the shoe, I've worn the shoe quite often, which is actually a surprise. I don't generally get an opportunity to wear my shoes as often as I would like during this whole lockdown situation. But this is honestly my favorite 350. It's currently my only 350, and it's probably one of the only shoes on this list where I would consider you know, doubling up. This is definitely a shoe that I'm gonna be rocking right the way throughout next summer. Let's move on to number two on the list. Now I know this is a top five video, but there was no chance I was going through the entire video without giving a special shout out to the Air Jordan 12 in the Indigo colorway. Now, this is actually my very first pair of 12s, kind of like we've seen throughout the entire video. Lots of the pairs I've, I'm showing you guys is my first version of that silhouette. But honestly, I can't believe the lack of appreciation for such a nice colorway like this. 
I recently watched a video from my friend Jason G Kicks and he showed a lace swap which kind of threw back to the original obsidian colorway. So I did a lace swap as well and added in these white laces. And honestly, this is such a beautiful, versatile shoe. One of my favorites in the collection. It didn't make the top five cut, but this is definitely a shoe I'm going to be wearing right the way throughout next year. And the 12 on the back of this one has really grown on me. So hopefully I'll be able to add a few more 12s to the collection. And moving on to number two on this list. Here we have the Jordan 13 in the Flint colorway. Now, when this shoe was due to be released, I remember going on, you know, one of my videos and saying that this was definitely a shoe that I was going to get regardless, you know, whether I had to pay resale or not. As I touched on, I generally don't like to pay a resale if I don't have to, but this was definitely a shoe that I just knew I had to have. And I pretty much said that for all of the releases because these shoes that are on this list are definitely my favorite releases of the entire year. So with this one in particular, when I actually managed to win the raffle, so I got these for retail from End Clothing, I was gassed to get them. I was even more gassed when they arrived. And honestly, up until recently, this was definitely my favorite release of the entire year. This for me is an incredible shoe. The 13 is just so comfortable. It's so easy to wear. It's so easy to match up to most outfits and definitely want to double up on this pair as well because I just absolutely love this colorway. And last but by no means least, can I get a drum roll please for number one on the list? And here we have the most worn shoe in the entire list so far. My customary five pound sliders. All jokes aside guys, moving on to the official number one pickup for 2020 in my entire collection. A lot of you guys probably already know what this is, but let's get that drum roll going. Let's build up that suspense. And here we go guys, here is my number one pickup for all of 2020. We have the Air Jordan 11 Jubilee, releasing to celebrate 25 years of the Air Jordan 11 silhouette. Now I've recently taken a look at this shoe as an early look in a previous video, and I will leave a link above in the cards if you do want to check out my review. This is actually my only pair of 11s in the collection. It's the first pair I've ever owned. And honestly, I wore them for the very first time today outside and I was just blown away. They were so easy to wear with the outfit I was wearing. So comfortable on feet for long periods of time. And genuinely, I just, I'm amazed by this shoe. I actually want to get more Jordan 11s for the collection. The outsole's already yellowing because of the fact that I've worn them today, but I honestly couldn't care less. This for me is my number one pickup for 2020. I'd love to know what your guys' top five are, so make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who stuck around to this point in the video. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, hitting that bell notification, and I hope to see you again in the next one.